YouTube, it's me Vic. I'm back real quick to talk about my countertop update. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video saying that I'm going to change the countertop of my bathroom to this right here. This is it right here. I was going to change it to this right here, this beautiful colored, this black, this right here. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. You know why? Uh, in my master bathroom, my countertop is one of those heavy duty type of countertops and this right here is not made for that. In order for me to change my countertop in my master bathroom is I have to replace the entire thing because I have a double sink and this right here was not working. So even I was trying to definitely try and make it work. I will share some footage of me trying to force this thing to work. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm getting a lot of air bubbles. Let me just put some light on here. I'm getting a lot of air bubbles on this and it's not quite working out. So I'm very disappointed that I am not able to change the countertop. Uh, in order for me to change this countertop, I would have to like literally get a whole entire new countertop because this is not working out and I'm so pissed off because I went and bought this thinking that this would work because I figured it's a countertop why not but as you can see let me just get closer look at that look at the air bubbles it's not cute I'm trying everything I'm putting this laying this box on it to try to get it to work but it seems like it's okay then when I lift the box up it just the air bubbles return and that's like not cool I don't want, if I'm going to do a job, I, I want to make sure it looks good. Unfortunately, it don't. So, unfortunately, I have to stick to the way that it is, that it was, until I'm able to get it changed professionally. So, I'm disappointed. So, okay, see you later, YouTube. Bye-bye. What was happening was, I was getting a lot of air bubbles inside of it as I was doing it. So I'm trying to, I'm using boxes and stuff to try to get the air bubble out, but it doesn't work. This is made for cheap countertops. You know, the little, the ones that are very cheap and you just want to do something really quick to try to make it look good, but it's not for my master bathroom countertop. So I was very disappointed at the fact that I couldn't change it. However, Everything happens for a reason, and I was about to send this back, then I did something kind of crazy, creative, and I decided to just keep this, and I used it to create to this. <laughs> so these are old jars, and I had peanuts in them, okay? So instead of me, you know, being upset and fighting with myself and being angry and not thinking about, you know, this is not going to work. And my husband told me, no, it's not going to work and I didn't want to listen, but you know, you learn, you live and you learn, right? So I decided to just be creative and just fix these jars. So this one is my Q-tip jar and this one is my cotton balls. As you can see, inside of here is all my cotton balls and inside of here, q-tips in here so I said let me just be creative and make the best of it instead of just sending it back and wasting you know I just was like ah you know what let me just keep it and just do create these two items right here okay so I decided to make these jars I have more and I will do something else with it so the moral of what I'm basically trying to say I'm crazy and you know and feeling upset and frustrated with the fact that it didn't work out quite the way that I wanted to work out with the countertops I just decided to be creative just be creative and you know do what you gotta do with it and hey that's what I created and it's pretty cute and again, I was looking at my bathroom and I said to myself, you know what, maybe it would match. It would probably do everything off because my bathroom is black, white, and hot pink, okay? So if I, my, every, my tub is white, everything else is, you know, so I was like, you know what, let me just keep it the way that it is, okay? Because so that it can't be too much. Well, whatever the case is. So anyway, now I know that when purchasing stuff like this, it's for cheaper countertops. The ones that you have, you know, little cheap ones. And definitely, when I'm ready, I'm going to change my countertop 
and I'm going to get a professional to do that because it's going to be a lot of work to change, you know, and I have a double sink, it's a lot of work. So even if I did this, it would have been a lot of work for me because it's like pretty long. And again, there was too much air bubble. My husband said it's not going to work because I wanted to do it myself. And he was like, <laughs> like kind of laughing at me, like, really? Okay, let me see you try. And I was trying to, you know, I'm the kind of person I prove it to people. But he was right. He told me it's not going to work because of the, the material, because of what it's made of and blah, 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 all that stuff he was saying, you know. You know, he know what he's talking about pretty much. But anyway, so now I know. You live and you learn, right? <laughs> so that being said, just wanted to do a quick update and let you know what's going on with my countertop because I did mention that I'm going to change my countertop and do a video DIY showing you how I do it. Unfortunately, that did not work out. <laughs> so next time I have to think about what it is before I go make a video and make sure I know what I'm talking about before I do it, okay? So take care, have a fabulous weekend and please stay tuned for more videos and I'm also going to catch up to a lot of you ladies and gentlemen's videos, okay? Take care, bye-bye.